Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my review of the Precision Series Fillmore as a single. So quite recently, I reviewed the Precision Series Sally. If you'd like to see my review of her, you can check out the description below. And of course, she is a part of the third wave of Precision Series singles, as is Fillmore and Luigi and Guido as well. And I got them from Get Me Collectibles, and as I always say, he's an absolutely wonderful seller. You can check out his eBay store. He has cars listed from 2006 all the way up to current times. And you can also email him if you have a specific question or want to inquire about an item or whatnot. His email address will be in the description below. A highly recommended A plus seller. So now let's dive really right into the review of Fillmore. I assume you guys saw my review of Sally, so I really don't have to go through all the introduction stuff. But yeah, we do already have a Fillmore from the Precision series. He was included in the tasting set that I actually haven't reviewed yet. So unfortunately, we will not be comparing this version to the one in the single pack as extensively. However, when I review this guy, which I plan on doing over the summer, I will be comparing them in depth. But I'll briefly explain the differences between the two from what I can discern for this version included with the taste in. So this one actually glows in the dark. You can see that the colors are slightly darker than the ones on the single version, and that's because this one here is obviously made to glow in the dark. They had to change the colors for that to happen. And therefore, unfortunately, the one included with the building is not as accurate to the movie as the one with the single packaging. The expressions are slightly different, but they are very similar. I'll go into more detail about their expressions when I review the set here and compare them both loose. Of course, the single Fillmore has an opening trunk, which leads to his engine, whereas the one with the set does not. He really only has the glow-in-the-dark feature and rubber tires, which all the precision cars have. The headlights are also slightly different. The ones on the set are colored in to be silver, the ones on the single version are clear. They're like plastic inserts, which I'll show you guys when I open him up. So those are the differences between the two. Of course, I'm sorry that I couldn't go into more detail, but I just haven't reviewed that one yet, but I will in the future. Trust me, I'll get it out this year. I know I've really procrastinated with that review and Flo's VA Cafe as well, but I'll do my best to get them out this year. So fingers crossed, guys. I really hope so. But now let's take a look at the packaging here for Fillmore. We have a very simple, elegant design with the Disney Pixar Cars logo and the Precision Series text. And like I said in my review of Sally, these aren't really meant to be played with. If you want to play with a Fillmore, I recommend buying one from the basic $4 line like this one here, rather than spending your money on a car with rubber tires and opening features that cost around $12 to $15. So anyway, moving on from that, of course, Fillmore is in his typical acrylic case. There is his license plate, Fillmore. Same stuff on the side here. On the back, it says Fillmore again, 1960 Volkswagen Transporter, uses organic fuel, oil, and brake shoes, zero to 60 miles per hour. Why the rush, man? So I actually really like that because usually it actually tells you the truth, like 177, but I like that because it definitely fits his character. And let's check out Luigi and Guido. It gives an accurate description of the speed there. But I really like that they changed it up for him. There's Fillmore's picture right there in front of Main Street, Radiator Springs all lit up at night. Adult collector, and on the base here we have the legal information. So I will be right back with this diecast opened up. All right, so guys, I have quite the story. I'm picking up with this video more than two months after I recorded those first clips you saw of Fillmore in the package. Today is June 9th. I recorded those clips on April 4th. You wonder why? Well, let me explain. So the Fillmore that you saw in those clips is this one right here. This screw is stuck in the back portion of him. It will not come out. I tried everything, every kind of screwdriver, vice grips, and pliers, everything. Nothing works like this. It won't budge. It's in there, and it has no intention of ever coming out. Like, you guys have to trust me on this. Like, I can't demonstrate, but it's stuck in there. There's no coming out. So 
over in China, whoever is making this stuff, like why do you put it in there so tightly? The front screw was only a minor struggle to get removed, but this one, there's just no coming out at all. And you can see in the process of me trying to get the screw out, the car has gotten shipped in several different spots because I used the vice grips. And so just terrible job on Mattel's part. So what I did, I contacted Get Me Collectibles. We talked it over and he was so generous to send me out another Fillmore free of charge. This one he kind of like pre-did. He made sure that the screws would come out. So thank you so much Get Me Collectibles. Like I said at the beginning of the video, he's an amazing seller and this is just a perfect example of how awesome he is. So definitely check him out. This is not his fault. It was Mattel's. It's the factory workers over there in China. Why are they putting in their screws that are like so far? up there and they're just not coming out like god oh that was so annoying because i took a whole night to do this video it was before my vacation to disney world and i wanted to get this video out while i was on vacation and i just couldn't because you know i couldn't like have any more time to record another video but anyway we're doing it now in june and i just had a lot of other stuff going on so i got the new film more but i just didn't have enough time to really do a video on it. But here we are though in June. Let's put all the negative stuff aside and focus on this awesome die cast because I really do like them now that I have them completely out of the package. So let's start here with this license plate. Of course you have Carburetor County there because that's the county that Radiator Springs is in. 51237 is his license plate. I never quite found out the significance of his license plate. If anyone knows, please let me know down in the comment section below. There is his license plate there on the die cast. He doesn't have one in the back. As you can see there over on the left, you have May and then 50. So I'm pretty sure that is when he got issued the license plate, May of 1950. That would be my guess. On the back here, you can see a nice picture of Fillmore. It's actually a different pose than the one on the package. So I really do like that. Now let's take a look at the information on the license plate here. 1960 VW bus, that is Volkswagen bus there. Well, I guess that blows my theory for May of 1950. If he wasn't built till 1960. Well guys, years and cars, the like ages of cars, that is something that is very, much a mystery like for example let me just take jackson storm for example he said in that clip of him with mcqueen that he has been a fan for years but yet his model is a 2017 next gen piston cup racer how does that work like i have really no idea what that means exactly but we're just going to ignore it just kind of give it some salutary neglect because we don't really know maybe we don't want to know Anyway, below that says a happy hippie bus, definitely agree with that. Original 40 horsepower flat four cylinder air cooled engine, oil, fuel, and brake shoes are all organic materials. So there you go. Pretty cool license plate there. I always like these little keychains. And now let's move on to the car. So I'm sure you guys know Fillmore. He was originally voiced by George Carlin, but then unfortunately he passed away and then they recast him as Lloyd Schur. He'll also voice him in Cars 3 as well. They sound very similar, but it's very sad that Carlin passed away. He was a great guy, great comedian. And I'm sure you guys also know where he appears. He's one of the main characters. He owns, obviously, Fillmore's Taste in the background there. There's a Precision Series version that I showed at the beginning of the video. And yeah, he's one of the main RS townies there in Cars and Cars 2. And of course, Cars 3 as well. He's a part of McQueen's pit crew indeed so he helps out with like the gas and stuff all right so moving on to the review now you can see he has a nice expression i like this expression a lot more than the like regular release like it just looks so weird he looks so tired you can't really see his mouth so i do really like this version you can see the volkswagen logo right there he has lights they don't light up but they are like plastic inserts so it looks a lot more realistic than the silver dots on the regular version of course you have the license plate right there that looks to be pretty much exactly the same as the original version, or the regular version, I should say. He has his one side view mirror right there, the flowers across his front there. Moving on to the side here, I like the rainbow. You have groovy, the peace symbol, love. Let's get an up close look here at the decals. I guess it kind of worked out well because now I have my new phone, much better quality, so we can take a closer look here at the decals. You have Flo's VA Cafe right there. 
another peace sign, recycle your oil, some other stuff that's really, really small. I love the flowers, I love the road. And it does have rubber tires, by the way, with the nice green rims there. Pretty similar to the regular version, but obviously not rubber. You have a big flower right there, what looks to be a vent, a yellow flower. And on the back here, he actually has this opening engine feature because his engine on a Volkswagen bus is actually in the back. So it's kind of strange, but that's how it is. And this actually flips up and down. In the package, it's flipped out, but you can flip it right back in once you remove the little, I guess, uh, rubber band. It's a very small rubber band that's connecting it to the tire up here so it stays open in the package. Oh, I misspoke actually, he does have a license plate in the back. I was looking down here by the muffler, but there it is right there, same license plate. The one thing that I'm not a big fan of here is how obtruding the flap is. Like you can see on the regular version, it's very flat and doesn't interfere with the decals at all. But this really sticks out. You can see the outline right there. And now granted, I really like that it opens up and I prefer that over the regular version, but I just wish they found a way to maybe incorporate it more into the body rather than having it stick out so much from the actual you know, core of Fillmore there. But anyway, let's take a look at the decals. Save Mother Road, Peace, RS, Open Road, some no sign up there, I love oil, some more oil decals down here. Question, interstate, so he's definitely against the interstate, which makes sense because it really negatively impacted the town unless it was for Lightning McQueen that came along. Looks like support organic refiners. I am 80% organic fuel or something. Another peace sign over there. I love two. I can't read that one up there. There's a rainbow. So a lot of really cool decals. There's another one of flows. So just very well done. There's also flower power and 100% organic. So you can actually tell a lot from Fillmore's personality just based on his decals. Like he's a really easygoing guy. He's against the big interstate and he loves his organic fuel. On this side here, you can see Saturn for some reason on top of a purple flower. There's a swirly road right there, a lot of swirls and curves, and then it expands right here. More green and yellow swirls. You have this flower over here with the world. It's actually focused on South and Latin America there, so that's pretty cool. You have peace all typed out and some more decals and whatnot up here. Let's see if we can read any of them. You have like a peace sign incorporated into a route sign right there. This orange one says certified organic fuel, I heart oil. This one says go natural, drink organic fuel. So definitely he loves his organic, all right. So that's pretty much it for Fillmore. On the roof here you have his very small stars pretty pretty cool all right so i do really like fillmore i just wish you know that first of all the screw situation was terrible that's not really fillmore's fault i mean let's just talk about like the die cast here and not like the ancillary stuff but i really do like him i guess my only complaint is this thing right here i think i forgot to show you guys actually inside so let's take a closer look inside there because it's actually pretty detailed you can see the engine there, it's painted. You can see silver, bronze, gold, all sorts of stuff. So great job on the inside. I just wish maybe that this flap went in a little bit more so it wasn't as obtruding, like I said earlier. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out Give Me Collectibles. He does an amazing job. Like he always gives his customers the 100% A plus service. Like, was so happy when he was able to send out another film or free because it wasn't even his fault. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below, do you prefer Precision Series Sally or Fillmore? So I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now.